Hi, uh, on this video, I'll be trying out uh, to encrypt username and password of a Spring Boot application. Uh, this username and password will be stored in my application.properties file. So the project I'll be using is this one. So as you can see, there is username and password, which is related to my uh, JPA uh, data source configurations. So uh, the library I'll be using is this one. So the provide tool a uh, tool to encrypt a given text and then they also have provided a spring boot integration plugin all right so let's get started by creating the encrypted value so first i need to download this i've already downloaded it so we'll, we'll, we'll go to the directory okay from the bin directory to encrypt a particular text you have to do something like this okay so this is the input you wanted to encrypt and this is the password you're using to encrypt that on encrypt the input okay this input is our username and password okay Okay, this is the encrypted value. I'll copy this and then use it in my application dot yml. Okay, it has to be put between this uh, prefix and suffix. Okay, now I have applied uh, the encrypted values. Before I can run this, I need to include the dependency to the support um, support to this tool okay okay that's done so I'll try to run it as a normal spring boot application okay without any any additional parameters first okay this will give us some exceptions okay this that basically mean that it can't uh, encrypt the uh, decrypt the given password and username so to fix this I need to pass in the additional uh, parameter which has the password which we used to encrypt the username and password okay as you can see it can run now so we will try to do the same thing to the jar before that we need to clean install okay I've managed to clean install successfully so what I'll do next is I'll try to run the jar with the additional parameter okay okay this will this should work as you, as you can see it has successfully executed so so what you need to us uh, this dependency and your encrypted value over here and to generate your encrypted values you need the tool okay that's all thank you very much